Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durber with my lovely wife, Alberta Durber. And we are just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Yes. Luke 1 37 says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. And we're just grateful to be on this network, WFBN. Yes, sir. And uh, we pastor Faith Victory Church right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky. If you're ever in our area, come on in. We're that church. <laughs> we're that, yeah, we're that church. We love the word and we love to praise God and we let the Holy Spirit have his way. So uh, you can catch us every day. We're on seven days a week here. And we want to know where you're watching from. Yeah. If we're being an inspiration to you, just inspire us right back. You can uh, send us an email uh, at help at faithvictorychurch.us and include your prayer requests. We pray over them. And uh, also, our prayer line is there 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can yes. see that information at the bottom of the screen. Prayer starts things and prayer ends things. How art thou today? I am lovely. You increasing? I am increasing. Glory We've been talking God. about that, wow, that this just, week, yeah. about increase. <clears throat> and uh, God's plan was never for us to decrease. No. Oh, God. He said he's come to give us life and life more abundantly or more abundance not decrease, you know, not that, less, that poverty, not lack. That, that poverty Ooh, doctrine that's in, in, in that religion it has, still is. Uh, you know, uh, preached around the world, uh, has robbed uh, God's people from what God wanted them to have. And, you know, uh, people come up with these things. Well, uh, you know, uh, I... God knows what I need, and he'll not give me anything that'll it. hurt me, you know, and all, all this goofy oh, stuff. God. And uh, oh, the whole time, God is needing, devil. you know, you have a rich man come into a poor church, and well, oh. all of a sudden, they, you know, it's like mosquitoes coming on. Faith without hints. Oh, and, 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 and you know, it's just, like God, want, God wants all of us blessed. He wants all of us he, increase. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he has no sorrow with it. That's why he now, gave those us Those of you this. that are listening, uh, Alberta and I, we are debt-free. This ministry is debt-free. Our traveling ministry is debt-free. Every Everything we're involved in is debt-free. We're building it. we got a whole new sanctuary we're building right now. We're building it debt-free. And uh, we've been debt-free for over two decades and uh, closer to three. And uh, this debt-free living, it's one thing to get debt-free. <laughs> You're back to broke. Back to broke. But it's another thing to increase. That's it. And we've learned <clears throat> some things about increase. And I'm not saying we've, we've apprehended it all. No. No one ever has. Uh, but uh, we have learned some things. And the things that we have learned work. And they're working in our lives, they're working in our people's lives. And I really believe this, Alberta. I really believe that this is the year of the turnaround. Absolutely. And that they are, there are our people, our partners, and uh, our circle of influence and, and people that have been pressing into the things of God. I believe there's people listening right now that... Uh, you've sown big, you're tithers, you, you're faithful uh, to your church and so on and so forth. It is time for increase. I, I know you've seen God's hand move uh, somewhat in your life over the years, but I'm talking about increase, increase with a capital I, right? So read our springboard verse, verses for us. Okay, where was I? First Corinthians chapter three, <clears throat> excuse me, and verse six. I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that plants anything, neither is he that watereth, but God that giveth the increase. Mm. So 
God is is the one that causes increase to happen. Now, in the in that Babylonian natural world system, you can you can make some things happen. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we're in the kingdom of his dear son. And there are laws in the kingdom that if you and I discover them and start applying them, it supersedes that Babylonian system. That Babylonian system, that debt uh, system out there, that lending, borrowing, uh, credit, uh, interest. Bondage. Bondage, captivity system out there. Uh will keep people uh, working just themselves silly, trying to better their life. Versus you get into uh, the laws of the kingdom. Uh, three, three primary laws uh, really that come to mind right now, the law of seed time and harvest, the law of faith, and the law of love. And you get those three laws uh, moving in your life uh, you're operating in the kingdom. And there'll be a lot of people that won't understand you. Uh, they'll think you're, 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 giving, you're giving all that money to the church and, you know, and so on and so forth. Uh, and it can look like for a season, uh, and, he, and it could even be a long season in our minds, that nothing's happening. But I'm here to tell you, God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sure. sows, that shall he also reap. I mean, we're sitting we're sitting at uh, at at uh, uh, dinner the other night, and uh, the couple we were with writes us out a ten thousand dollar check. Well, it, it it wasn't like, oh my God, uh, no, we're in we're in expectation. We've done the same thing, right? Many, many times, right? Many and, times, and, and and so many times over. Right, right, and so. And not that we're not grateful. No, 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 no. We're no, no. I mean, I'm in, wonderful. I'm expecting right now. But I'm also expecting them to be blessed. But the, the, but we're not talking about something. We're not an echo. No. We're not, we're not watching, you know, Christian television and hearing some big preacher talk about this and then bringing it here and, and, and hoping to generate something. We we have this work in way before we were on television. <laughs> it's true. Right? Yes. But I want to read about. something. I want to kick over a sacred cow. Come on. When when it comes to increase. It's been a long time. Right? And and now listen, listen, this what I'm about to say, uh you you're, you as a if you're a pastor, you may have even preached this. Mm -hmm. A song leader, you might have wrote a song about this, or a, a a believer, and you you've been confessing this and you thought it was spiritual because it came out of the Bible. Let me let me let me explain something about this precious book we have. Yes. Everything in it is truly stated, but not everything in it is a statement of truth. Right. Hang on here now. Uh -oh. Everything in here is truly stated. In other words, it was recorded right. But everything in here is not a statement of truth. That's why the Bible says in 2 Timothy, study to show thyself That's approved it. unto God, a workman that needeth not, not to, to be ashamed, ashamed rightly, rightly dividing. dividing the word of truth. Because, it there, the because it's truly stated what Job said. God give it. It's truly sa stated what Satan said. Come on. It's truly Stated what Jezebel said. Oh, Jesus. It's truly stated what Jesus said. And so you got to know who's doing the talking versus what the Bible says. Come on. Well, the Bible said it, but and it was truly stated, but was it a statement of truth? What Jesus said. There, said is there are lies recorded it. in here. Tell me about it. See? There, there. You have wicked rulers that are recorded in here, and so you got to know who's doing the talking. Come on. And so, now, are you ready for this? Come on. Some, 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 we get, we got some, we got some people back here. Here like, comes that. They're, they're yeah. like this right here, right now. Here comes right? that. But this will set you free. 
Know the truth. That's... And the truth you know will set you free, you see. You got to continue in the Word to know the truth. Now, are we ready? Are we, are we ready? cow, here it goes. Oh, Jesus. You ready, you ready? You ready to kick this one over? That, that All right. Sacred cow. Because I've go. heard this. Where are we going? In John chapter 3. Oh, boy. And this is John the Baptist saying, talking. Now, how many, how many of you believe John the Baptist is a good man? Yeah, would he lie? Is, is, is John the Baptist a good man? He's a good man. He's a good man. You know, I never but he's understood. not Jesus. You know, I never this, is not, this is not written in red. Exactly. Right? Words in red are true. Wait, you know what I always thought about John the Baptist? That's Jesus' cousin, right? It is. He grew up with Jesus. Now, you know he grew up since they were babies. Yeah. They played together. All Probably that. played soccer and all that. As you know, he knew who he was. Well. But, he said he did. No, hang on. You're trying to jump ahead. Oh, okay. No, I wasn't. Why don't wasn't. you just sit there for a minute? <laughs> I wasn't. I was just saying. Okay, let's go. It says there in uh, verse 27. John three twenty seven. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, John. Yeah. You yourselves bear me witness that I said I'm not the Christ, but I'm sent before him. Okay, so far so good. Yeah. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom which stands and heareth him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This, my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. Uh-oh. <laughs> he just said his joy was fulfilled. fulfilled. Wow. And he makes this statement in mm. verse 30. <laughs> he <laughs> must increase, but I uh -oh. must decrease. Here go. <laughs> Now here we go. We about, we, we, about, we, about to, we about to mess with your worship songs. <laughs> we about to mess with your tape series that you that you've been putting out there. Your righteous prayers before all you this preach. stuff. Yeah, and all this all this confession. Oh, God must increase. I must decrease. Now, John, don't turn got, this off. got into that mentality. And he said, thus is my joy fulfilled. He saw himself and he started confessing a decrease in his life. Mm. I wonder how long he did. And it cost him his life. It sure did. It cost him his head. Now, now, it lost his head. now watch this. In John chapter 1, look what it says. There. John chapter 1, verse, verse 29. That's your story. I was looking. The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him and saith, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. Okay. He recognizes Jesus and is proclaiming, is what he's saying a statement of truth? Absolutely. Behold the Lamb that taketh away the sin of the world. And he goes on oh, uh, to explain. <laughs> he said and in, in verse 32, And John bear record, saying, Jesus. I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and it abode upon him. He said it twice. And I knew him not, he said that twice, so but he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom you shall see the Spirit Jesus. descending and remaining on him, the same is he which baptized with the Holy Ghost, and I saw. In other words, I saw it. Saw what he and I bore record that this is the Son of God. Okay. So John is right on. I mean, his prophetic accuracy is there. Jesus said, uh, you know, there's no, no greater prophet, you know, 
than John the Baptist, right? Except somebody get born again, and then they move into a dimension beyond John the Baptist. Now, is John the Baptist, is, is he born again? No. No, but he got the Spirit oh, on him. He, he got he, the Spirit on him. Wasn't he filled with the Holy he Ghost? He got the Spirit on him. That's a different ballgame. Okay. That's, that's, that's externally. Right, right. Uh, okay. To, to where you can operate. Uh, the Spirit of God would come on Elijah, would come on Moses, and it, that external uh, anointing, right? But he was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mama's womb. He, that is talking about... That's talking about uh, him being... Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Being uh, anointed. Yeah, okay. All right. Just like they would anoint the prophets right. and, and, and kings with oil. Well, he was anointed from, from his... Mother's room. But he's not okay. born again. Right. No, nobody was. If, he, if he'd been born again, filled with the Holy Ghost, with that revelation, he would have <laughs> never made that statement. yes. He must Jesus. increase and I must, must decrease. decrease. He never would he never would have cut his ministry short like he did. Look at look over here in Luke 17. Luke 17. This is the same John that has just proclaimed to the world that God had spoke to him and said, When you see the Holy Spirit descend upon this individual. Yeah. This is the Son of God. And he just proclaimed uh, uh, verbally, this is the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Yes. Now here in Luke chapter uh, 7. Oh, 7. I thought you said 17. I did. Okay. Yeah, I'm in 17 too. We need 7. Oh. I'm so fired up over this. <laughs> Because I remember when the Lord showed this to me, and, you know, it's like, oh, okay, that's a big difference. Luke 7 and verse 19. And John calling unto him. Now, John's in prison. Oh. Right? He's in prison. And John calling unto him, oh, two of his geez. disciples sent to them, Oh, and John, God. calling oh, unto him, God. two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Go ask him. What? Are you the one? Are you he that should come? Jesus. Or look we for another. That's why he lost Now, wait his a minute. Hang on now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Think I'm... about this for a moment. Think about this. This is the voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the yeah. Lord. This is one that knew at one time in his life his destiny was to go before the Lord oh. and, and, and proclaim his coming. Jesus. I truly baptize in water, but one coming after me is mightier than he. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. He was making these declarations. And then when Jesus came to him to be baptized in the River Jordan, he said, I have need to be yeah. baptized yeah. of you. And Jesus said, we must fulfill all righteousness. Oh and John went ahead and obeyed and baptized Jesus. And when he came up out of the water, the Saw heavens opened that. up. And yes. here comes just like what God had told John. When you exactly. see this man, this is the one. This is the Son of God. And that Holy Spirit came down, down. upon Jesus like a dove. And, and now he's in, in jail and he's saying, hey, Come here, guys. Uh, oh, God. I've been doing some thinking. Oh, Jesus. This is this Jesus guy, my oh. cousin. Uh, go ask him, is he really the one? Or are we my supposed God. to be looking for another? My God. What, what, what? How do you get like that? I'm telling you, he confessed. Yeah. I Just must going. decrease. Shh. That was, he. he did not realize that God had increased for his life. Now, what, look what happens Jesus, here. Jesus, Jesus. Verse 20. When the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist has sent us unto thee, saying, oh, God. Are you he that should come, or look we for another? Now, can you imagine Jesus? Oh, God. Okay. All right, John. Something's going on here. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus. Something's going on here. And it. Right? And it. Well, it, it, uh, John the Baptist didn't have no miracles as far as healing and stuff going on in his life. He didn't, he didn't multiply the fish and loaves. He didn't walk on water, none of that. That's what I said. Okay. Right? Jealous. And, well, I don't know. We don't know uh, exactly what kind of offense it was, but here's what happens. I love this. Here's how Jesus answers, yeah, verse 21. This. Yeah. In the same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues right in front of these two yeah. disciples of John the Baptist. In that same hour, he cured many of their infirmities and plagues and of the evil spirits, and unto many that were blind, he gave sight. Jesus. Then, then, Jesus answering well, oh, said. This is why they went and asked him. He did all this. First. Oh, you know, I just, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I'm getting these new insights. He did all that first. I he, never he, saw that. Imagine Jesus. He, he, oh. he, he's absorbing, whoa, wait a <laughs> yeah. minute. Yeah. This is, this is, this is my, my partner yeah. in ministry. Yeah. This, what, what's going on here, right? Oh, we grew and up so he, he demonstrates, he demonstrates his healing power, right? Then he answers. <sighs> then Jesus answering said unto them, oh my. go your way and tell John what, what things you have Seen, not what uh, Jesus could have just said. Yes, I'm it. Now go, you go tell John that. Really, but, I just caught that. Well, you you stick with me, babes. <laughs> <laughs> then Jesus answered and wow. said unto them, My "Go your said. way and tell John what things you have seen mm -hmm. and heard." And he goes on to say, "And make sure you tell him that the blind saw, saw the blind see, the lame, the lame walk." walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf All that in that same hour. And the dead are raised. And to the poor, uh -oh. to the poor, the gospel is preached. He stuck that in there. And then he says, Oh my, there it is right Blessed there. is he whomsoever oh my. shall not be offended in me. Oh boy, the guys must have been saying, Uh-oh, John, you... Missed it, boy. You got offended. Well, they, they went back and told John, John, look. That's, You're that's there him. That's the same him. hour. That's him. I mean, I we saw blind eyes open up, deaf ears open up, the cripple get up and walk. And even the poor got the gospel preached to them. They didn't have to be poor no more. And, and now watch this. But John had this confession. He must increase. I have to say something. And I must decrease. Now listen, this this whole thing about you saying, oh, God must increase, I must decrease. No, 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 Stop no. Stop it. No, God can't increase if you don't, don't increase. That's right, exactly. You can't it's be It's God example. that giveth the increase. Listen, listen now. John the Baptist could have been in the upper room. That's right. At Pentecost, he could have been one of the apostles. He could have, it, it, Jesus. God did not raise up John the Baptist to live 30 plus years and then, uh, you know, well, so, you know, he had to sacrifice and leave Jesus there. No, Jesus was the sacrifice. You know, years ago, we knew a minister who said it all the time, especially when he was praying his holy prayers before he would minister. He was a guest speaker we had met. Today, he's as squirrely as they call him. Yeah, well, when you start confessing... You know, I'm deep, about, yeah, I'm yeah. Done, I don't want to know. It doesn't matter, but yeah, it does. Uh, you know. Decrease God. is not supposed to be in our vocabulary. God. Increase is. Exactly. So John the Baptist, when he said, my joy was fulfilled, no, 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 no. <laughs> John, your joy was not fulfilled. It was then. It was done. You, 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 your, your joy would have been fulfilled walking with Jesus for Come three on. and a half years, being in the upper room, watching the, the church, watching miracles. the church being birthed, yes, and uh, being involved in in all of that. But because he said, "I, I must, must decrease. decrease." Now listen, that's a sacred cow that just got kicked over. Get that out of your songs. 
get that, pull that tape out series of your out. Out of your confession, out of your prayers. It, 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 it's, it's, everything is truly stated, but not everything is a statement That's good, of honey. truth. Thank you. And this right here, you must, you, you God, I'm increasing. I'm increasing. I'm increasing. I must increase. Yes, Jesus. I refuse to decrease. Yes. See, you get that confession Shoot. going and watch what God does in your life. And our time has gotten away from you. We're going to be on this the rest of the week and you don't want to miss wow. an episode of this. And, uh, you know, uh, you want to know more information about us, just go to faithvictorychurch.us. That's our website. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there, there is power. power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.